We are doing all things candy corn here because either you love them or you hate them, but they are super cute to decorate with. We are going to decorate a cake and make it all candy corn using the dot art technique that is super big everywhere. It's super crazy guys and it's, you have to be patient. If you guys have the patience, you guys can do this. It's a super fun one. Welcome back to Chili's Bakes Cakes. To achieve this dot art look that is oh so popular right now, you need a tiny, teeniest tiny tip. You can see it's my littlest tip. It's so small. Tip number three, Wilton tip number three is what we're using to create this dot art look on our cake. We are making candy corn. So let's do this guys. I have just a cute candy corn. You can see it's just a candy corn cookie cutter and I'm just going to make indents in the cake right here. If you guys want my black buttercream recipe, by the way, just click right here and it will take you to the video where I teach you all about black buttercream. After we've made our little indents with our cookie cutter in our cake so we can make our candy corn, I'm going to use my toothpick and just make a little line. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm just gonna make a, two little lines just so that we can separate the candy corn colors. Make sure that you do the candy corn colors the right colors, guys, because sometimes, yeah, I've done it before and I don't put them in order. I always mix up the yellow and the orange. To make a candy corn, you start out with white, orange, and then yellow. Now I've filled three piping bags with those colors, and let's get our dot art on. All right, guys. So, yes, this is happening, and it's a slow process. I'm gonna show you guys how we start it, and then we'll just keep going. My tiny little tip, we're gonna start with our white buttercream, and I'm just gonna start putting dots right across the line that we made with our cookie cutter. So just go nice and slow, guys, and put your little dots, just space them out as well as you can, and just keep going. After I get down a little ways, I'm going to get my orange buttercream, and I'm gonna make a straight line across just so that I have that defined line where I know where to fill the white in. So now I'm just gonna fill in the white. A lot of times when you make the dot art, you can do bigger circles and then go to smaller, bigger ones. Today, we're kind of gonna do a little bit of that, but we're mostly just gonna make the dots right here so I can show you guys how to do it. So now we're just gonna fill in the white. Just kind of make a little pattern and just keep going. After we have the white, we are going to fill in the orange. And we're gonna do the same thing, guys. Just fill in the sides first and then get your yellow buttercream and make that little line of yellow underneath so that you have that definition of colors. Now we're just gonna fill in the orange. And now we're gonna finish off with the yellow. I'm telling you guys, it is a very, very patient cake. You have to have the patience for this kind of cake. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make any more of these cakes. Like, I love it, it was so much fun, but you have to have a lot of patience and I don't have patience, so. I don't know how many more of these cakes I'm gonna make, but I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys how easy it is to make them. You just have to have patience. tips while you are creating this dot art cake your buttercream will be in the piping bags and we all know when you put buttercream in piping bags it melts because of your hands it will just melt it to a puddle but guess what for this dot art it's okay if it melts because then it kind of looks it's supposed to kind of look like that like kind of a melty or buttercream so that the dots look a little bit more you know, defined with that melty look. I don't know why, but it's okay if it melts. If it does, however, get so melty that it's kind of dripping out before you're piping, push it back out into a bowl, add some powdered sugar, whip that buttercream back up, get it a little bit thicker and put it back in and start again. All right guys, thanks so much for hanging out as we created this fun dot art cake. Like I said, you need a lot of patience to do it, but the end result is absolutely beautiful. So if you guys go do it, I wanna know, let me know in the comments if you're gonna try this technique. Send me your ideas. Now maybe do another one for Christmas. Have an awesome day guys. Make sure and subscribe to my channel.